What's up, guys? This is Keith Kelfus with the Untrapped Podcast. And on today's show, we have Kurt Kempton. Kurt Kempton, the founder of Responsibid. Responsibid is an awesome software that's like hiring four employees to help you with closing sales in your business on autopilot. He's going to explain all this in a minute, but I have Responsibid on the front end of my window cleaning uh, on my website on our window cleaning page and customers come through it. Basically, I'll be uh, at work on a job site or in the truck and it'll say uh, um, an email notification. Uh, a new customer just signed up for service, cleaning windows, uh, $349. And all I have to do is just confirm the appointment and show up and do the job. It's literally happening on autopilot. I love this software. I was a little bit skeptical at first because I was so in control of how I wanted to do it my way. And this is absolutely genius. So you can create these videos that when the customer comes in, you, you, show, you show them the process, you get to know them. It's like video marketing. It's all baked in and it's actually really simple, right? Once you get it going. And uh, I, I, like, uh, I like Kurt a lot. He's an awesome, he's a stand-up guy. He's a family man. Kurt and I met first at uh, the huge convention in 2016. Then we met and hung out again at Joshua Latimer's AGSX just last year. And we've gotten to know each other. And bro, I just want everybody to know about Responsibit and how awesome it is because I've been using it and this technology and with all your, your growth and development and research and everything you've done, it's come so far now to where you're tracking all the data and everything. Just what's up, Kurt? <laughs> Thanks for having me on, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, you, want to, you want me to talk a little about, about how Responsibit actually works at the nuts and bolts level? Yeah, I mean, you, dude, you're not you're not you're not paying me to say any of this stuff, and I'm yeah. I, I love marketing and I love sales and trying to figure out how to automate those things, those repetitive tasks. And you're the guy who's helping a ton of people in our industry do this. You have so many success stories and case stories and people that just I see all over in the Facebook groups. People they just say responsibility, hands down. And then when I got on your program and I started using it, you told me you said. Just wait until you see what happens when you when it starts working. Like you'll be out with your family, um, eating dinner. You go use the bathroom. You look at your phone, and you just literally closed a job while you're eating dinner. So that's what I get excited yeah. about. So, yeah. So um, what I tell people is, responsible is like hiring four employees that will do four very specific jobs. So if you think about it, like if you hired someone to go gather the specifications of a job and then generate a proposal. It was selling good, better, best systems. Responsive, it has that component. You could use it on our website. You could have people out in the field giving quotes with their tablet or their phone. You have your person on the phone answering the phone and doing that. And Responsive sort of systematizes, you just tell me what the job is all about and I'll figure out the prices and give you good, better, best for your customer in that proposal. The second employee is like the follow-up guy, the guy who makes sure that you always follow up perfectly. Emails, text messages. If you use uh, SendGym, you got postcards and voicemail bombs and neighbor mailings, all sorts of cool stuff. Responsibid, make sure that every time you give a quote, once you're done with the quote, we're going to keep following up that person until they schedule. If they decline, we're going to follow up with them to make sure that when they had crappy service, they come back to you. We're gonna, if they do schedule, you're going to follow up with them, make sure you get more jobs with them. So Responsibid is the salesperson, the follow-up guy who does all the follow-up you're too busy to do and you always intend to do, but you never ever did. Um, the third employee is what I would like to call the, the intelligent scheduler. So when you sell a job, the next thing before you get that final check mark of a person to you know, move from, I've, you know, I've made my decision, I'm not looking anymore, that's getting on the schedule. And Responsibit has a component that will look at your CRM or your schedule. It'll automatically figure out who's working in what areas at what time, how good they are, who can get on the schedule. And it'll automatically give the customer all the dates and times available just in a calendar view, it's not, they don't have to know all the magic that's going on, but they just pick what they want and now they're scheduled and they're done. And when you look at your calendar, you're not like, hey, I'm going to be on this side of town. I'm going to be on this side of town because that's what a lot of these things do is that they, uh, they just say, when, when are you open? But we don't care just when you're open. We care when you're open and in the area with the right people who can do the job. And then the fourth component is where we connect to your CRM or any other connections you have. We make sure that the data entry is done. So if you hired someone to just make sure that now that we've made the sale, 
I need to make sure the work order's done. I need to make sure that it's in the schedule right. I need to make sure that uh, all that data is is properly put in there. We build connections to different CRMs and and it's like yeah, these you four people. With CRMs, you integrate with like Jobber and SendGym and all these other yep. software. Customer Factor. We have an integration with Service Monster, which is going to be getting much improved in the very near future. But yeah, we connect to these CRMs that people already are using for their invoices and work orders. So when I say it's like four employees, what I mean is, is that you're getting a sales system software, but it does those four jobs and it doesn't ever get sick. There are no, there's no days it's not going to get done. And it really forces you, and this is the best part, it forces you as the business owner to wrap your DNA and your pricing and everything into it so that it systematizes the things that you're doing, like, like you're making these new decisions every day. Well, responsibility, you teach it. And it does it the right way every time. You know what I like best about Responsibid? This I don't know if you've ever heard this. Uh, at AGSX, I was sitting down with a guy from Canada who has a pressure washing company. And uh, he was we were filling out all the parameters in the back end of your software. Uh, okay, so if a customer's house is like this square foot or this many windows, is going to be this price, this price, this price, this price, this price. But I was like, what about this whole area? I can't go do a job for $97 or whatever. Well, basically, you can you can establish minimums inside of response bid that like you'll only take on work for that much, no less. Now, what if, what if I go outside the service area and a customer wants something done and they put, well, you can increase the price the farther you go outside the service area. Like you can create all these parameters to make sure you're getting paid. And then here's another thing. I was really nervous about raising the prices on my window cleaning business. Um, because I was afraid I was going to lose a bunch of clients. I did lose some clients because I kept raising and raising and raising the prices. But with Responsibid, you don't have to uh, worry about any of those. Con- you don't have to have any of those concerns because the price is the price and it, it pre-qualifies the customer. And I literally had multiple clients sign up this year and last year for that you know, three forty nine or $449 or $549 to clean their windows. And, um, which I'd be uh, a little bit nervous to tell a customer in the past that price, but now they're already pre-qualified. I call them up. I was like, uh, I was thinking, you know, could this have been a mistake? But it wasn't. They said, yes, I saw on the website, it was a uh, 449. Uh, yeah. When can you, when can you do it? I don't have the system fully built out yet to what, what you guys, uh, I haven't, I don't have it maximized yet, but it's pre-qualified and sold jobs for me that all I had to do was just, yeah, I, it's funny you say that because <laughs> we spend so much time when we make the software, we make it so that you can put your own DNA into it and you can make it really feel like it's you. Um, mm. you, you already talked about videos, but all the follow-up emails can be written by you and tailored and like even the way that the questions are asked, they can all be in your own language so that it's like really specific. So it feels like you the whole time. But <laughs> I would t- say almost every trade show I go to, some responsibility will come up to me and be like, you know what I love about responsibility? It has no soul. It has no heart. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, don't say that. It's like, no, 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 no. I go somewhere, I give someone a quote, and all of a sudden I see their kids running around, and I'm like, oh, I better just discount. It'll just like knock 100 bucks off. They'll throw $100 in the trash can for no weird reason, just, just because you felt like it. And the person would have totally paid you full price. But yeah. you knock it down because you feel like you got to for some unknown reason. And responsive, it doesn't have any feelings. It just, it just, oh, I, it, he told me how to price it. So I'm just going to price it. And sure enough, people buy it. Yes. And uh, also what I'm going to be doing is filming a bunch of videos. Basically you have a, when people get into your software and they become a member, you, you have these videos of you showing an example. You're like walking out of a house. Hey, I'm Kurt with, you know, say Kurt's window cleaning. And, and I just want to say hello. Thank you for, for visiting the website. Now, here's the process we do when we clean your windows. Like you're basically, you create these customized videos that you put in the software so people feel like they're getting to know you before you ever show up. You're selling yourself. So you could be sick in bed, um, you know, blowing your nose with a cold, yet you have this fresh kipper chipper type of version of you online selling to your customers and closing jobs. And that, that's really, really cool. You know, Uh, know, to add to that though, here's the other cool part about that is that there's one thing about your business that no business will ever be able to be or copy. And that is they can't have you, right? So all your competitors, 
will never have the, they'll never have the unique selling proposition of saying Keith Kalfas works here. However, if someone falls in love with a video from you, and by the way, when you show up to do a job, if someone's like already kind of watched your videos, what do they say? They say, oh man, I feel like I know you, like we're friends. Well, here's the deal. If they fall in love with you, by default, they can't get you at any other business. So what does that mean? It means you're probably gonna end up getting the job. And that's what we have found, is that if people will just buckle down and do the video, we're all walking around with these phones in our pocket that are like quadrillion dollar uh, cameras compared to what Hollywood had back in the 50s, it's like a million times better. And everyone's afraid to get on camera. But if you'll just take a few seconds, use your sales pitch on, on video, I'll tell you what, man, you are going to appeal to a whole new set of customers. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't want it to let slip my mind and, or talk about it later. So I'm going to uh, talk about it now. Responsa Con. You have a live event. You've been doing this for a few years now. It's been a great success. I've heard reports. I haven't gotten to go myself and I really want to go um, that people come back from your event with their mind blown about what's possible and running a service business with sales and marketing and automation. Can you talk about your live event? Because it's coming up. Yeah, this is actually only our second one. Our first one was last year, and um, it started as a user conference. Last year, it's just for response bidders. We went, we were, our whole idea was we'll get all these users together, we'll help them tweak their uh, systems, we'll speak from the stage, give, you know, tell them about updates that are coming, and <laughs> stuff like that, which uh, we ran some snags on that. But anyway, the point is, is we get everybody together and we thought, we're going to build up the responsive accounts. We got done and we realized responsive is just like an ice cube tray. Like it's a way to organize your sales system and sort of, you can put the water in and you can freeze it and all that. And that's cool. But everybody's doing sales. It's just that not everybody's using responsive to organize their sales and automate it. We realized everything that came across the stage almost was basically teaching how to make your sales process better for selling services. You know, selling products is one thing. Selling services is a totally different thing. And so this year, we're getting a bunch of speakers to come to talk. Uh, response bid will definitely be brought up. If you're a response bidder, yes, you're going to learn things about what you could integrate in your software and be better. And you're going to be networking a lot. But here's where I think everything went really mind-blowing for me. You're going to be able to come and learn about a bunch of different processes and things that people are doing in their business. A lot of the no-name people who are speaking, they just run a business just like you, Keith. They don't have a YouTube channel. They don't have uh, a Facebook profile even. They just have been kicking butt, taking names for years, and they're using maybe Responsibit or otherwise to sell really well. They're going to be speaking. Lots of different people are going to be speaking. There will be people you have heard of. There's going to be uh, some Conquer coaches. Brandon Vaughn himself will be there. And people are going to be there. To Brandon Vaughn will be there? Uh-huh. He's going to be speaking uh, on the first and second day of the conference. Dude, he's yeah. brilliant, bro. I just <laughs> uh, hung out with him a couple weeks ago, and he was doing uh, – there was a table. They were doing Conquer coaching and stuff, and um, he was just, just showing different profit margins and metrics and how to see your business from an angle. Like when he, when he talks and teaches, things just unlock in my brain that I had – been frustrated about for a long time it's just the way he communicates is awesome that's really cool that he's going to be there yeah there'll be there'll be uh, quite a few people there that i think are just going to be worth the whole trip you know mm. um but it's going to be in phoenix january 30th through february 1st here's the deal we're gonna have a stage that's going the whole time three days basically uh it was eight in the morning until four o'clock in the evening and Lots of gold nuggets are going to cross the stage. That's not special. Every conference does that. Everything across this stage will be about sales and marketing, helping you to get your process better. Some people are going to be like, hey, this is what I do in my business. And other people are going to be more like, uh, um, you know, uh, like coaching and, and so, oh, Brandon Vaughn type people, I guess I'll just say. And it'll be in great information. Here's the difference. Normally, you go to a conference and you're sitting there taking notes as fast as you possibly can. And then you go home and you got to catch up on your work and you don't get anything done. At, at ResponsaCon, there will also be a, another room with 20 different breakouts in it, all with tables and whiteboards. And you will be able to get your brain full, get your inspiration on. And when your brain's full, you don't have to sit there anymore. You get up, you go walk into the hacker rooms, you find a table with an open chair that's, you know, there'll be different subjects at different tables. And you go find the table that matches the subject you're super inspired on right then. And you work with other business owners 
to run your ideas past them, hear their ideas, and start implementing stuff right there. There'll be copywriters there, videographers there to help you record videos. Um, so you could literally say, I want to do a video on my website. You get this great idea off the stage. You run into a hacker room, room, you bounce some concepts, some strategy off of other people. You go meet with a copywriter, write a script, go into the other room, throw the script on the teleprompter, talk into a camera that's highly professional, get the video done, you have a video file. When you go home on your uh, trip home, YouTube already has your video up and you are ready to put it on your web. In fact, there'll be website guys there. You can actually put it on your website and have it done by the time you get home. Like, whoa. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Jill's office will be there. So we got Jill's office. There's going to be Zeke Domanowski, uh, Domowski. Um, there'll be uh, um, all sorts of people there to help you. To, uh, to Jill's to office is dope, dude. I use them too now. <sighs> At first I was like, let me just get in on the smallest, little, tiniest plan. I'm afraid <laughs> to spend any money. <laughs> and then you're like, wow, cheapest employee I ever bought. <laughs> yeah. So, so they'll be there to help you with your phone scripts. Um, they'll be there to help you sort of figure out how to close jobs over the phone better. They're going to be doing some speaking over the stage as well. Um, but the idea is, this is a nonprofit thing for me. I'm, I'm doing this specifically. It's an expensive ticket. I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's $450 for three days. But all that money is going to the cost of the rooms and the food. You're going to be getting breakfasts and lunches already provided and ho um, hotel food's expensive, but whatever. So you're going to go there and network like crazy. You're going to get home and get stuff done. How do I benefit from that? I benefit from that because I'm trying to build a community of people who are doing better at sales. And we believe that you'll probably want to buy response bid as you get better and better at your sales and your systems more systematized because yeah, it'll take a lot of pressure off of you just getting those four employees for like 200 bucks a month. But here's the thing. You spend $450. You come to the conference. You are going to walk out of there with 10,000, 20,000, $30,000 worth of tweaks and improvements that are done to sell more service, right? That's what we want. Okay, before we go farther, because I have more questions, wh what is the website people go to if they want to check this out or hold their spot? Just go to responsibid.com and then on the very homepage there, there's a button that says Responsicon, get in the event. Just click that button right I'll put there. links in the description below, responsibid with I. Yeah, we should spell it. Who's the, wor <laughs> the worst name for a company ever? <laughs> it's it's R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-I-D.com. Okay, and that's in Phoenix, Arizona, January 31st through February 1st? January 30th through February 1st. 30th through February 1st. Yeah, okay, event. that's right around the corner. Um, we got the holidays, then that. So, um, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, getting in a room with like-minded entrepreneurs where you're not just an, uh, an attendee at an event, but you're actually involved and you're, you're working like a workshop type and, and integrating and implementing it right then and there. Yeah, that's huge. You're absolutely right. It's almost like a boot camp really, right? And here's the cool part is that you're going to bring home a lot of value. I already talked about that. But you know what else you're going to do? You're going to add value to someone else. You know something that nobody else knows. And that's why we need all 200 seats full. Right now, we're like 125 seats sold. We only have 75 seats left. If we sell all 75 seats, number one, I don't lose money on the event. I actually break even. Uh, but number two, you're going to bring something smart to this event. And yeah, you're going to bring home more value than you brought, uh, that you brought I would hope. But you're going to help somebody else who doesn't know the thing that you know. That's sweet. That's a huge component of it as well. If you are already successful, you've had some success in your business, you got to come to this event because now you can, you can, you can pay it back. So you'll be learning and helping other people. Yeah, build that's right. Tight relationships. There's one more, there's one more thing I didn't say anything about and I, I want to bring it up right now if that's okay, Keith. Mm. Um, we're trying to get these last 75 seats sold. We just want to, we just want to get to the, people should be buying airfare right now. It's the time. Like right now you need to buy the tickets. This is the right time to do it. I want to sell it out. In order to sell it out, what I did was I put together a four week masterclass in the month of November. So anyone who buys their response con ticket before October 31st will automatically be enrolled in a four week masterclass. And now those four weeks, the first week in November, I'm going to be teaching about the uh, certification system I used in my cleaning company to help all my employees act like business owners. It was, it was a huge, huge shift. And I think a lot of people are going to value from that. Mike Dahlke is going to be speaking 
He's going to be teaching you about how to make your business more acquirable or Dalkey. how to acquire other business. Yeah, Dalkey. <laughs> Mike Dalkey. For, for those of you, don't, of you who don't know who Michael Dalkey is, the dude's straight up amazing. He's, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Genius slash nice guy. Very weird combination because he's, he's both. Yeah. But yeah. He, acquires, he acquires cleaning businesses and he also has had a lot of businesses acquired from him. He's really good at all that. He can help people with that. Um, the third week is going to be Bobby Walker helping people to perfect their in-person sales approach. Bobby Walker. For those of you who don't know who Bobby Walker is, <laughs> dude, I feel like I'm, I'm sitting here helping you promote the event because I, it's okay. <laughs> Bobby Walker, uh, journey of a new entrepreneur. He, uh, he is a master at getting people to, he has a system for, for, for getting customers to fall in love with him and leave him positive reviews. This dude in being business in only of a couple years, he has like something like 500 positive five-star reviews on Google. And he has an entire system of how to do that. If you ever get around Bobby Walker, lock him down and have him explain that system to you. And, um, you know, what's funny about that. Yeah. Bobby Walker wouldn't be in business. I don't think without you, he actually, he actually decided to start his company and he got fired from his business. Like they laid off a bunch of people at the business that corporate America uh, security company. He saw your, your YouTube channel and that's what inspired him to actually get into the, the cleaning company. That's awesome. That's, so that's a huge uh, responsibility to me now. Uh, yeah. True story. A lot of those videos, I felt uh, back, if anybody who's seen my older videos where I was just on fire and yelling in the camera, I was, uh, I felt called like I had to make those videos. It was like the spiritual mission and I didn't have a choice. I remember pulling myself out of bed at three and four o'clock in the morning. My wife would be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I got to go make this video. I had to make these videos because I knew I was like calling out and speaking to people and it was a very, very moving part of my life. And, and I'm transitioning now into something like that again. But um, yeah, so, and I'm saying that because if you feel like you want to make videos on the side or, or if you feel that fire inside of you, don't hold it back by any means. Communicate, get out, coach people, help people, whatever way that is, uh, that fits you, you know, get in where you fit in. Uh, you, you, you just got to do it because it can impact and touch so many people's lives in so many ways. Just realize how powerful you are. Yeah. Let me, let me tell you about the fourth masterclass though, just so we can get that out of here. Josh Latimer is going to be teaching the fourth week of November about how to spend your marketing dollars the most efficient. Joshua Latimer is going to be there. I'm yeah. sorry for cutting you off, bro. I need to get my tickets and I need to come there, bro. <laughs> so I just the masterclass the series is all done through zoom. The master classes will be, Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So the master class, those are the four teachers. Those are the people who are going to be teaching that the month of November. It's only available. You can't buy the tickets. You just have to buy tickets to ResponsaCon and you get into the masterclass. Once you've signed up for ResponsaCon and you're in the masterclass, you'll show up to ResponsaCon and be like, I already got all my money value because of those, those four masterclasses. But it's like we're trying to just add a ton of value, man. That's good. It's <laughs> <That's> good. <laughs> well, thanks, man. We're working hard over here. Hey man, I'm gonna ask you a quick question. Uh, okay. What book are you currently reading, and what's the best book you can recommend on? Um, on, on... Uh, all right. Well, the the uh, five second rule is the book I'm currently reading, and it's, uh, it's by eh. what Mel Robbins. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It it doesn't need a whole book, but um, just basically, it, it was in it's interesting. But you know the book that's ringing through my ears right now that like I just recently finished was Never Split the Difference. It's uh, the hostage negotiator guy. Yeah, that was a great book. You, you read that one? Yeah, like, gosh, it just opened my eyes so much to like how we make decisions mm -hmm. and you know what, what your brain makes sense of versus like what's real. And how little things that I've done my whole life or other people that have done, understanding the difference between speaking to someone in a language that will be effective for them versus manipulation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a fine line between someone who is persuasive and helps you to understand things and helps to both of you get what you want, as opposed to someone who will use very similar tactics to make you do what they want at your own peril, even. And, um, I think that everyone who's a responsible person who does sales should read that book. 
Because it, it, it truly, it gives you, I mean, just like a gun, if I give you a gun, you could shoot people with it and do terrible things, or you could go out and hunt and, and you know, bring home food for your family. I mean, you could do lots of different things with a gun. But I think in sales every day, you need to have a, a, a class that teaches you how to be safe with a gun. And I felt like Never Split the Difference is exactly that. It's the ability to, to safely be a great, effective salesman, a marksman, but not in a manipulative way. You know what's crazy? Um, this was just my interpretation. I, I got really frustrated at one point because I wasn't making enough money. And so I listened to a lot of sales books on sales and selling because sometimes you can think you're good at selling, but you're not as good as you think you are. Mm -hmm. And I remember I got on, I listened to a bunch of Grant Cardone books while working on audible.com. And even though it actually increased my closing rate immediately listening to him, something about the way that I was interpreting his information started making me become, uh, not him, he doesn't take it. I take responsibility for my own actions, but there was a short period of time where I was becoming hungry with getting the sale and getting as much money as possible. Um, and what it did, it started blowing up in my face rather quickly. It wasn't working at all. And I had to pivot and shift. My closing rate went way down. I would just became money hungry. And I started realizing that it's about from your heart, you wanting to create and serve your client at the highest level and you need to charge a little bit higher price because that allows you to uh, not rush. And, and, and in order to serve you at the, at like, like I genuinely want to serve the customer at the highest level now. And that's why it costs a little bit more. So that's a, it's a whole paradigm shift that allows, it's a win-win, right? Yeah. And um, so that was, that was uh, really exciting. Um, yeah, so Never Split the Difference is a great book. Uh, one quick thing, what is a breakthrough that you see guys that are maybe a, uh, a, a solo operator, what, what is a sticking point that you see them having? And what is the, a small little shift that they can do based off all your experiences? Because you, you work with tons of small business owners and you've helped thousands of them. What is the small shift that you see happen that gives them that, that drastic leap in, in income and profit margin and so they can breathe, right? Well, I'm going to give you, if it's okay, I'm going to give you two answers and I'll just kind of just quickly gloss over one because if you don't have any financial intelligence uh, and by, or maybe maturity might be the right word. If you don't know how to assign dollars to job or jobs to dollars in your bank account and in, be intentional with your money and understand how to truly manage your money, um, that is probably your very first step. And a lot of people just ignore it. Um, I'm not talking about Dave Ramsey stuff, although his principles are good. What I'm talking about is just understanding when dollars come in, if you did $50 an hour, a certain percentage of that is going to go to pay. A certain percentage of that is going to go to your profit. A certain percentage of that's going to go to fuel. A certain percentage of that's going to go to chemicals, whatever it is. So if you don't have that maturity to partition that money out as it comes in, I would highly recommend that shift because that will change everything for you. But as far as what I do, for a living, I, I, I see people how they sell. And the biggest shift you can make as a service business owner, the biggest shift is to get your customer out of research mode and put them into decision mode. If your customer comes to you and you give them one price, you just gave them a data point. Now they're going, all right, he'll, he'll clean my windows for $350. Let me go find another cleaning company to see if that's a good price or not. They're not done with their decision. They are still in research mode. They're learning about you. They're learning about your company. Da, 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 da. You have to move them from research to decision. And I'll explain how you do this on Amazon every day. You're looking for camera equipment. Keith, you and I both share a passion for camera equipment. We go on there. We research all the camera equipment. You research, you research, you research, you research, you read the reviews, you read the specs, you do all this stuff. You see what's come out recently. You watch YouTube. You check out all the videos of all the reviews. And at some point, you feel like you have enough information to make a decision. Well, services suck because if you are trying to figure out how to research it, you got a bunch of people have to come to your house and they may or may not show up and the apples to oranges scenario all the time. Here's what you must do as a business owner. When someone asks you for a price, you don't give them one price. You give them a good, better, best price. And then you ask them two questions. Number one, which of these packages will make you the happiest? 
They'll tell you, and they will automatically have made a decision. That's step one. Step two is, well, when were you hoping to have the work completed by? If you ask those two steps, those two questions, and give them the right equipment, you have moved them from research to decision. And people will research forever unless you make it so that it makes tons of sense to make a decision now. If they're waiting on other quotes or if they're going to have to call other people, you can't do that. So don't give people ultimatums. Don't give people data points. Go up to them. and So don't say it's $350, yes or no. No, it's, it's $350 or $450 or $650. Here's the value that comes with each package. Which one will make you the happiest? Dude, I'm integrating this and implementing it right now. <laughs> cool. Which one of these will make you the happiest? I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up. And I just want you to say one more time, uh, your website, where people can go and check out not only, um, well, it's all on your website, the live event. Kurt Kempton here. This guy is amazing. He's the founder of Responsibid. What's, what's your website? How can people find you? Yeah, responsibid.com. R-E-S-P-O-N-S-I-B-I-D.com. And you can check out Responsicon, which was a user conference. Now it's the ultimate selling conference for service companies. Or if you want to check out our software. But if you have to decide between the two, if you say, man, I, you know, right now I, I just, I got to pick one or the other. Come to the conference. Get your systems lined up. Get yourself organized. Unpack your brain. Take advantage of all these people who are going to help you and get yourself selling. If you can cl- up your close rate 10%, that's, that's 20000 30000 $40,000 more per year. If you can up your average ticket price by 5%, what would that do? You know, like th- you need to do that. We hope you use our software someday, but come to the conference before all the seats are gone. Nice. All right, brother. Great having you on the show. And if I, if I see you soon, I'm going to stick a camera in your face and interview you live on camera. <laughs> cool. I look forward to it. Wow. This guy's energy is awesome. Okay. Thank you guys so much. You can catch this podcast and all the other episodes on any major podcast platform or go to keithkelfus.com forward slash podcast. Uh, if you go to keithkelfus.com, go over to the podcast tab and make sure you subscribe and If you meet me in person at a live event, come up, say hello, shake my hand, and I'd love to hear your success story. All right, later. Bye.